on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. It doesn't really matter. You're the reason why think. black men are running. It don't matter. I don't blame them. And I don't blame them. Y'all better date it's the white women. Because they're running to you, right? Oh, date oh, the white oh, women. What, what we're not going to do with that. What we're not going to do with that. What are you What are you Suggest you chill. What are you what is going on? Wait, 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 w
uh, subpar standard women within our culture. The black supremacists ain't gonna answer that. I ain't talking to you, nigga. Shut up. I'm talking to Kayla. <laughs> okay. I don't think that anyone should have to settle for anything that's less than what they can attain, right? Um, but I do think that people like to use that as a trope based on what they've experienced. There are millions of people in this country and you just can't tell me that you met them all and all of them are trash and now you need a white woman. In your city or wherever that little bar you go to, the same restaurant you go to, the same place you always go to, only your block and you can't find any girls, well, you might have to leave your block. You might have so, to do. You might have to expand your horizons. But I personally say, oh, it'll work because my brother is a living testament that you don't have to do that. He's grown up in very white environments as a tennis player. Never dated a white girl. Okay, Always so, somehow found a black girl that was a good woman, educated, uh, smart, good. Like good, my, came from his last girlfriend, two parent household, S third generation, go to Tuskegee. So I don't, so, I don't, I don't, I don't, I just can't identify with the whole, oh, I just can't find any of them. So because this know. man has forever been in white spaces and still finds great black women. So, so let I me, so let, let me, let me, let me say this, right? We're not suggesting that good black women don't exist, clearly, right? Um, but if we are not able to find them within our area, in our circles, we're supposed to just pack up and move. Or if, should we say that black women should look within introspectively and say, damn, am I fucked up? Should I tighten my shit up? Should I get my shit together? If, for example, the majority of black women are all obese, the majority of black women, is that something that we should just, oh, well, we got to find the one that ain't. Like, should we do that? Or should we look introspectively black women and say, you know what? We collectively need to get our shit together a little bit more. And I'm just talking about weight. I'm not talking about anything else. That's just okay. one example. I, I think it's both. I think they both can exist in the same space. I think that people need to get it together, go to the gym and focus on their health. Diabetes is a major issue in our community. Correct. We need to do this. People need to drink water. People, I agree. At but the that's same future. time, at but the same future. time, you should also expand your horizons. I think that we have technology that can do so many different things for us, even in just like me, um, uh, like before when I was like on dating apps, there's people that, that live within a five mile radius to me that I didn't even know was there. Yeah, but they still obese so too. We're like, talking about the, we're talking about black women as a collective across the board and what you're A collective is, across the board, we all need to improve. Right, so, and but what, you're what you're suggesting is, is that this is what we need to do. There are single black men out here looking for black women right now. Right. So are we supposed to just wait until y'all get y'all shit together or or should we go out outside of our race and find that happiness that we're looking for? Uh, I think everyone should do what's best for them. Me personally, like I said, I've dated I've dated a few ancient niggas, but that's not going to make me go and get a white guy. I know that there we have the divesting community of women that, and there was a girl on my show yesterday who said the same thing, like women need to stop being loyal to black men, da da da. Go get you a white man that's going to treat you good, da da da. Cool, if that's what you want to do. But I'm not doing that. So I'm I'll say I met I meet people every day. I meet people in the airport. I meet people. I there are millions of people. So I just cannot take this like you're going to put a ceiling on me that these is my only options because they not. Hey Kayla, can I ask you some? Kayla, can I ask you some? I want to follow up with that. I just yes. I just want to ask some real quick, Court. In a world where we see everybody else saying we're going to preserve our legacy, our lineage, our heritage, mm -hmm. why do we? Why do we? Even after Martin Luther King said, "I realize I didn't took my people into a burning building." Mm -hmm. Why do we keep perpetuating this narrative of, you know what? We don't need to preserve our own. Everybody just needs to find. Ha there's no other group of people that's saying they need to find happiness wherever you find it. That's true. We're the only ones that perpetuate that narrative. I'm just curious as to why we keep saying, you know, just go find happiness wherever you find it. 
I mean, and because I don't want to tell people. And, and, wait, wait. I'm just mm -hmm. saying, in particular, when you deal with family, covenant, community, all of that stuff, it's it just baffles me that we keep saying, you know what, you ain't happy with the black man, go over here and find happiness with the Puerto Rican or this person, that person, woo -woo, blah, blah, blah. And we see that there's a disconnect a lot of times. I think Courtney gave stats plenty of time. Well, maybe it wasn't court. I, I've, I've seen where people have given stats plenty of times where these marriages tend to fail. Yeah, the highest is about 42% of interracial marriages fail. Because what, um, Court? Well, usually it's a cultural difference, but I will say this, though, the main marriages that do not fail is from black women and white men. Their marriages actually last longer. Oh, I didn't know that. Wait, you said black it. men and white women? Or no, black no, no. women and white men. And white men? Black, oh. black women and white men. Okay. Oh, no, I know the answer. Ladies, go get you a white man. No, I know the reason why that. I, I know why. Now, I know. it happens on a smaller rate than, of course, black men. Yeah, but for, if you look at the resources, like if, if we do it on resources, I guarantee we could we could figure that out really quick. But go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, Zerilla, I get where you're coming from. I do. But at the end of the day, I can't control people. I want to judge people for whatever it is that they want to do with their life. But like I said, I'm still, I still, I still think that people should be with other, I think people should, Black people should be with other Black people. I, there's well, nothing point, that's going to change my mind. There's not well, one I, thing I, anybody can say that's going to change my mind about it. I don't disagree with that, Kayla. But my point is, at what point do we impose a standard, right? Yeah. As believers, as you know, me, I told y'all, I consider, well, I told Court at least, I consider myself an uh, 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 honorary uh, uh, Clark Atlanta alum, right? So, as HBCU alum, right? Mm -hmm. At what point do we impose the standard of excellence, right? Like if we keep perpetuating this standard of or this narrative, it's not even a standard. It's a narrative that everybody buys into. Everybody just gets to you just go do whatever you want to do. You know, I'm not judging you. I ain't gonna shame you. you just, hey, you want to fuck three niggas over there? Go fuck them three niggas. I ain't gonna judge you. Hey, you want to father them kids over there, Nick Cannon? You want to have fifty kids? I ain't gonna judge you, fam. Yeah. Really, you're I'm gonna be disappointed in your language tonight. <laughs> you know, I, I want to go back to Quest. So I'm going to cuss you out seven ways. I think, I think Quest asked some very, very uh, poignant questions. And I and I feel actually the kind of the same way that uh, what you were getting at Quest, where I do feel a way when I see a, a black man with a, a white woman. I do. I'd be lying if I said I don't. But then again, I getting out of my feelings, I can't lie to say I don't understand it. We can't want black relationships and black love if we're not giving men anything to stay or to stay with it. Right. And I think men are now realizing that they have options, whether overseas, whether going across country, they're now realizing it. And I think it's really telling women and black women, we have options and these women are wanting us. When I go overseas, I'm feeling like a celebrity. <laughs> that, no, that's but, right. But but here's the thing, regardless, it's that's how they feel. And it's wrong of us to negate how they feel because men have feelings too. So I was looking at um, Mad Bus Driver X. He's the one that coined um, Save Yourself Black Man back in 2014. And they have a whole 20 point tenant that they live by. Like it's literally, um, it's a movement. And me trying to learn and understand the movement, I can't lie and say that I they got points. Bro. And if they're going where they're wanted, it's hard for me to try to fight back and tell them to stay when they're like, I'm getting treated the way I exactly want to be treated. And y'all not doing it. You're not cutting it, Black woman. Yeah, I want you, but not in this state. And you can't even be accountable or admit that you need to lose 30 pounds. All you was telling, all you telling me to do is, no, take me as I am. Yep. When I have Marisol, 
willing to do whatever that I need her to do because she just wants to be with me. Okay. I mean, I get that, Courtney. I get where you're coming from. Obviously, people need to improve on things. I agree with that. I can't negate that. I'm just... Then, then, the, and, still, well, then in that same I sentence, how can you be upset when you see it then, Kayla? If you can agree with it, oh, I still don't like it. I don't care. I don't care. I still don't like it. I don't care. So, so here's, here's something else I'm gonna throw at you. Make me like it. Uh, okay, that's fine. Here's something else I'm gonna, here's something else I'm gonna throw at you, right? When you look at when you look at different races of women, Quest, Quest, hold on. JR, I'm sorry, jump in there just real quick. Uh, oh, no, no, I just was saying I'm gonna let him go ahead and finish his point, and then we're gonna go ahead and get to the guest. There's two more people in the back, I'm not letting nobody else up. So, on uh, dub and John the Baptist, I do see you guys, appreciate your patience. So, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw one more thing at you, right? When you think about different races of women across the board, right? When you think of submissiveness, where do you put black women on the scale? of being more submissive or least submissive? Where where do you put them? Versus any other race of woman in the world. Um, Be honest, Kayla. Again, I think that, I don't think this, the, that that's a racial thing. I think that's a class you, thing. You're dodging the question. I think... No, I'm answering the question. I don't think that that's a racial thing. I think that the women whose men have more money are more submissive. I think All right, so let's ask every other person on, on the panel men, then. Women whose men provide them yes. with whatever it is are more submissive than women who have to go outside. So. There, there are women that make money that are very masculine. So I don't think money. And, and it doesn't have anything to do with this. We just talked about this on King Talk the other day, where we yeah. can go to multiple other countries in the world, throughout the world, and men that don't have all this money that we talked about have households and wives that are submissive to them. Question. Period. Across the world, it's like this. I'm and talking I'm about America. Of been, I mean, I a lot like of these 40. broke men be I'm having submissive America. women. I mean, do we care what they do. But do I'm gonna say, do you, include, do you include black women that are from other countries into that equation? Into the equation on the submissive, uh, submissive, submissiveness your submissiveness chart. What I'm talking not, about? Not only submissiveness, but staying married for their entire lives. So we're just so we're talking about America. The only reason I brought other cultures up is because somebody was saying, uh. You have to have money in order to get this type of submissiveness, and that's but that's wait, not true. It is, but you use women across the entire world, and so I asked you, are you including and oh, right, I got what you're saying. Women from other countries, black women from other countries. Yeah, no, I, 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 I would, I would, I would, I would say America, across right? the board. I would say across the board, all countries. Where would you put yeah. black women on the are submissiveness saying, chart? Well, wait a minute. So you wouldn't say that black women. We saying black, right? But you know, African black, women. That's what it is that they consider black. You would say black women in African countries are let are just as, if not, um, no. are less submissive or just as, the same as the black women in America. You're saying you, I just want to make sure I heard your question right. Are you asking me? Do I think that Af um, African women are on the same submissiveness level as uh, American. Af black American women? Huh? Ironically, that's the one uh, continent I haven't been to enough, <laughs> so I, I I don't know. I can, I can speak on every other unless country, you unless you really you live in those <laughs> unless you really live in those communities where you don't know you don't know so, from visiting. That's what I'm saying. Question, why question so I, so I, should be: Do you think I Black American know. women? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He's still he, uh, on. Anton, Anton okay. addressed me, so I do want to answer it right. So between South America, Central America, um, uh, the Middle East, Asia, Europe. So I can't count Africa because I've only been to like one country in Africa. And I was not embedded in the culture like that. In all these other countries, I have been. I told you I've been to like 40, 50 countries. And every one of those countries I've been to, the submission, the submissiveness level across the board is it, you can't compare it. Okay. In any of those other cultures. I so I asked anybody else on the panel, where would you rate black women on a submissiveness like level from least submissive submissive to most? Least submissive. 
we we say we're cute. Siobhan? We're submissive. Siobhan? I, I believe we're submissive. Where? Are you just saying Ooh, that to count it? Yeah. The women, do you honestly the women believe are that? a reflection. Of the com the community and the women that are community are a reflection oh. of the community. So I, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think, so think at a hundred percent. That's fine. Y'all capping, yeah, bro. I don't think at a hundred percent, but I definitely think that there are some black women that are willing to be submissive that want of course. to be we're talking about across yeah, the board there's more, bro. there's more women that's not submissive than there than than right. there are right. that's the problem right. as a matter of fact as a matter of fact you're made fun of if you say that you're a yes submissive. you're looked at as we absolutely right. Right. You're, Thank you. you're called well, i agree with you courtney yes oh, oh no so now so now that we got that out of the way now right so why, now why i ask so why so, so I asked that. To, so I asked that question to get to this, right? If, if every other culture of woman is out here a little bit more, or significantly more submissive than our own women, what, what are we? Why, why? This is just one thing: is submission. That's it. That's just one thing. I'm not talking about anything else. Just one thing. Why wouldn't we not step outside if we can't get that within our own culture and our own race, bro? If that's one of the things that men crave, if we crave it, why, 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 why not? Why wouldn't I go outside of it? Act like y'all craving other things. So sometimes a woman don't. Take I just told time. you what we craving. Right. I just told you no, what we craving. The issue is, is that you think you deserve it because you got a dick. That's the you problem. Said, you said what? The issue is, is no. that a lot of men think that they deserve it simply because they have a dick. If 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 women was, if the submission the submission killer. No, no, it's not. It's not. Oh my God! It's not that well, men think they deserve it. It's what you should be as a woman. Period. Again, again. It's not what they women think they deserve. Not, as a woman, as a woman, these are attributes you should have as a woman, whether you was a man married or not. This is who bingo, bingo. Again, and that's what it. I'm saying is that women have been a lot of women in our culture and community have been placed in situations and obviously this is something that they have to overcome but have experienced trusting and there's a lack of real leadership and that takes it down a bad path or whatever it has happened so i think that because of that whether it was your granddaddy your daddy who whatever it is because of the lack of real leadership in the community over the last like my lifetime that women are not simply ready to just step out here and say, you get to run everything because there's not trust. Okay, there's a whole yeah. lot of lack of intelligence. Niggas talking about, oh, the answer is uh, marriage. The no, answer is you getting an education, yeah. getting on your shit, so that oh, you no, can boss. actually you leave you somewhere yeah. and you have oh, the knowledge please. to leave me somewhere and you don't think that we should just do what you say because you the man. Yo, so okay, I yeah. think that there is a disconnect. Kayla. As long as that disconnect exists, it's not going to work because women are attaining more knowledge, more information, moving around, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. instead of stepping up to the plate and saying, I'm going to be that man that deserves that, you're saying, I should just have it because I'm a guy and you're, no. you're my woman. Yeah, hold on. Wait, 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 I don't want to submit really to a man that Kayla, I'm Kayla, 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 but y'all work at Walmart and then be like, "Oh, she need to be Listen, doing this." I got you. We, we heard, we heard you, Kayla. Listen, and I'm, I'm gonna reiterate this again. <laughs> On King Talk Tuesday, the gentleman—I I don't even remember who brought it up—but somebody on the panel brought up the point that men all know a type of woman get, that gets the same treatment from every man that she comes in contact with. Quest was there. Quest was there. She gets the same amount of respect, decorum, acknowledgement, all of those things. Regardless of if it's a thug nigga, if it's the Prince of Wales, it's yeah, there's oh, so now you looking like oofy goofy. So I guess I'm the only one. Nah, maybe, I look good. Maybe, I maybe, maybe all the other men were wrong, and maybe none of you women. I've either been that woman or experienced seeing a woman who You're gets right, the really. same type of treatment 
from a particular don't matter what type of man it's how she carries herself so it baffles me that we continue to perpetuate this conditional femininity we're not talking about femininity. We're talking about submission. You can be feminine and nice and cool and and and, and, no. and good, good energy. Are you listening to that? Yourself, that has nothing that's to do with that's, 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 that's not true. That's not true. Totally different. I can be nice and cool and great, and I can be feminine. Kayla, Kayla, have you even ever submitted to a man? Never. She don't even know. Have you ever submitted to a man? Kayla, that's not. You know what submission is? Are we talking about submission? Make up your mind. Okay, I've never submitted to a man though. Oh my god. Because I thought we were talking about the baby. Okay, Kayla, listen to listen to the listen to the other women on the panel. Right. She's absolutely lying. A part I'm of femininity, lying. the part of femininity is being submissive. No, it's not. Oh, I'm feminine already. I'm a you woman. Think, you Matt, don't know what Matt, 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 that's what it is. You no, can't have no, one without no, the other. No, 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 no. no. It's yes, just, yes, that's just yes, not yes, it. Yes. It's just and not this, it. And your femininity, so, how what you so carry so yourself, so how you speak so to so people, so you wanting to do yeah, hey, Courtney, you wasting your breath. You wasting your breath. That 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 comes into realm. You have to say so. You are the epitome, madam. You are the epitome of why men are crazy. It's hey, 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 Courtney. Courtney, don't waste your breath, don't waste your breath baby. Stop Courtney, don't, hey, don't, 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 don't waste your breath. I, I, I am kind of curious to see. Y'all want it to be that, but it's not. Y'all want it to be that, but it's not. When they look at this show, they look at you, and that's why they say, I can give a fuck. You know we know you don't care, Kayla. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. How dare you, Hold on, hold on, hold on. How about dare you say I don't give a fuck? Wait a minute. Know, like making up Wait a minute. How dare you say I don't give a fuck? I don't give a fuck. But I don't well, Why should I care? But you claim to be pro black. I am pro black. No for the community, but what you do, your image, you are the women black men don't want to say, girl. It's a complete. Oh, they don't. Oh, no, and you are. You are an embarrassing oh, black woman. Oh, embarrassing. Like oh, you're so hey. proud of your own so I mean, you are too. Because you're fucking single, so let's. You are right too, now. but you're you so mad. Like, 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 at the you end of the day, single, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You're what the reason you why think. black men are running. It don't matter. I don't blame them, and I don't blame. Y'all better date the white women. Because they're running to you, right? Oh, date the white women. What we're not gonna do? 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 Suggest you kill. What is going on? Wipe that wake up and take that ring off, honey. Looking like that's the ring. Don't do me. Oh, but where's the ring? Oh, we don't have one. Oh, okay. Where's the relationship? Oh, we don't have one. Kayla, you don't have a relationship. All the fuck back. I am the wrong one. Because the only person that can be saying is Victoria. And I bet you all are looking at you crazy too. So let the married woman speak. Let the let the married woman speak. You're the epitome of it all. Then why the fuck you not married? Let let the oh. married woman speak. Let let's okay. speak. Probably thinking the same thing we're thinking. 